I'm joined by Chief Economist of the Efficient Group, Davi Root, to discuss our outgoing and incoming Ministers of Finance. Thanks for joining us, Davi. Now, we're losing Pravin Gordon to cooperative governance, but our new Minister of Finance, Nklantla Nene, isn't exactly new to the post. No, certainly not. He's been around for the last six years, being the deputy under Pravin Gordon. Um, he's a real technocrat. Um, he's, he knows what's going on there. And just keep in mind that the Department of Finance is a very well world machine. It's like a big tanker. It's been set on a certain course. And it, it, it's not going to be turned around. So what you really need is just somebody just to make sure that the things just keep on ticking along the way it has been. But having said that, it's not going to be plain sailing to the new Minister of Finance. There are a couple of really quite difficult challenges lying ahead for the new Minister of Finance. But, but looking at the job of being the Minister of Finance in itself, I think we've got a, new, a good minister in the form of, of, uh, of Minister Nene. So going forward, what will Minister Nene's biggest challenges be? Well, I think there are basically two challenges or combinations of two or three challenges. The first one is that government finance or fiscal, fiscal finance at the moment is simply unsustainable. The fiscal deficit is very large. It's around about 5% of GDP. State debt levels just keep on going up and keep on going up. And there are a number of reasons for that, but the very important contributing reason is simply that the South African economy is not doing well. And that means that the Minister of Finance is not collecting enough taxes to pay for a pretty much bloated civil service. And that brings me perhaps to the second challenge, is that the tax, the tax base is just not big enough to carry this massive, uh, overpopulated and bloated civil service. And the civil service is also very inefficient. And in, in fact, the civil service, in my view, is perhaps the single biggest threat to the South African economy. So what we need to do we either had to cut back on state expenditure, and that simply means pay less salaries to civil servants, or we have to increase taxes. And in order for the Minister of Finance to do that, he needs a lot of support, especially from his boss, which of course is President Zuma. And I'm afraid, and we know President Zuma is he's not the guy that's always too concerned about spending too much money, and I think that is perhaps the, 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 the first concern is, uh, is our new Minister of Finance going to get the support from his boss to do a very unpopular thing, and that's to cut back on the civil service. And then uh, another challenge that is certainly going to, well, uh, uh, that I actually expect for this year, and that is that uh, given the deterioration of fiscal finances the past couple of years, given the fact that the South African economy is certainly underperforming at the moment, chances are pretty good that we're going to see a downgrade in our sovereign debt. Now, if that should happen, then we're going to see long-term interest rates going up, we're going to see the rand weakening, and that, of course, will, will give the new Minister of Finance a whole new set of challenges to deal with. So it's not going to be easy for the new Minister of Finance. Let's just hope he's going to get the kind of political support that one of his predecessors, Trevor Manuel, got from his bosses, uh, from Mandela and Mbeki. They really gave him a lot of support to do quite often unpopular things. But I'm not so sure if our current president will look at state finance in the same way. But on top of these concerns that you've raised and very valid points that Nene is going to have to deal with, he's also going to have to essentially fund new ministries entirely. President Zuma set up um, new ministries for water and sanitation, for communications, and that money has got to come from somewhere. Yes, and of course we've got a new ministry in the form of a minister that is responsible for small businesses, which I'm not so sure is going to be a success. Uh, well, look at the total numbers. So we, we, we're obviously talking about a couple of uh, extra millions that need to be spent on these new ministries. But if you look at the bigger picture, that's not really the, my biggest concern. The biggest concern is that we spend, for example, 20% 20, 20 of state expenditure goes to, the, to, goes to education. That's the single biggest expenditure item. And if you compare South Africa's expenditure on education, then we spend more than most countries in the world on education, which is not necessarily a problem. The problem is if you compare the outcome of our education, it's, it's bad and often it is the worst in the world. And that is the issue. So it's not the amount of money that we spend on things. And I'm not only education, it goes for just about, well, many other ministries as well. It's the efficiency, it's the way we spend this money. And that is the real challenge. I, I will be happy to spend a billion rand more, 10 billion rand more on another ministry that is very well run because the economy will probably gain from it somewhere else. But I'm afraid chances are even these new ministries are not going to be that efficient. With the exception, perhaps, of the one where Pravin Gordon is moving to now, 
because we know he is a, he's a, quite a good minister and he's, he's, he's quite a hard worker and it's going to be a very difficult guy to work with. And that's exactly what you need in a form of minister. But I'm afraid, but, but the extra money being spent on new ministries, that's not my real concern. The real concern is the efficiency of the way the money is spent. 